All right, guys, the start of another great project here from Earthworks, Jason Duffney, uh, one of the owners. But this is kind of a unique one, so we haven't done anything on YouTube with the Pratt guys yet. Um, they're a partner of ours. You see them here? This is actually their project. So they've actually sold this homeowner on a really cool expansion of their living lanai. I was telling somebody earlier, it's weird that we're doing a Pratt project and they're not doing a kitchen. It's always got a kitchen in it. So they already had a kitchen, they already had their existing kitchen, and now they're adding more livable space around it and some covered areas so they can actually use the space. We're gonna be taking out this post, this panel, and this gate to get access back there. It's a brand new neighborhood down here in Nocatee, Florida. And what they're trying to do is just add a little bit more privacy in their backyard. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna utilize these oak trees that are back behind us, and we are going to add to it to kind of create more buffer for the sound. We're also gonna be doing some more trees on this side so they have this buffer from their perspective looking out the screen enclosure and don't have to see other screen enclosures. And the only time you guys really see me in the channel is when there's a water feature. So the other thing that we're gonna to do to help drown out the sound is Pratt guys created this really cool patio for us. This is the screen enclosure that they bumped out about 10, 15 feet. But this is gonna be the space that we work some magic in. So we are going to be doing three large urns or potentially three medium urns. We're not really sure yet on this one. Um, the homeowners wanted to kind of see what it's gonna look like. So we're gonna to try to work with it. We've got a really cool Sylvester's palm tree going right behind that, that patio. And here we're doing these urns. This right here alone should potentially drown out all that traffic sound because, not because it's gonna drown it out, it's because your, your, your ears just go to that water sound. So from here, they've got great views from their living room looking straight out at these three huge urns just creating all kinds of noise and movement. Um, so this alone will distract. And we've got a variable speed pump, so if it's too loud, we can jack it down. Mike, Mr. Hey, Sandberg. Hey, how are you? I'm Scott. I'm great. So we have a double crew going on this week to try to get everything achieved for you. So we've got Michael as our water feature specialist. He, of course, can do the whole landscape. And then we've got Danny, a second <laughs> foreman. I mean, Michael's, you know, eight year, seven year um, veteran with us, but he's gonna be doing the water features while Danny is working on a lot of the landscape, but I'm gonna walk him through the entire project so he knows everything. So we got Chris over here in the trenches. He's cutting our, uh, our sleeving that was put in by the contractors who built this patio. Uh, so he's simply just moving the pipes. They were about three and a half feet out from this side. Uh, and our basin's actually gonna come fairly close to the edge. So he's getting that handled, moving those out of the way for us. Uh, what we have here is an 11 small block, uh, small aqua block, uh, basin that we're doing. So all this eventually will move further down this way. We have a big old piece of liner that's gonna overhang this entire raised planter. And we're gonna do stack slate urns. We're gonna do three of them. The viewing from the homeowner is really gonna be able to enjoy their uh, specimen palm tree. So we're gonna be working on digging all this dirt out. We have plenty of space in the yard to waste it in the new bed lines that we're gonna be cutting out. So that makes our life easier. And uh, yeah, it's basically gonna be finished. Three stacks later in, lit up, big gravel bed, and then we're gonna try to pocket in some landscape on either side of it too, just to soften it all. Follow me, follow me, follow me. We have uh, the basin set and ready for our fountainscape to go in. Uh, skirt liner all the way down. Uh, we'll be able to trim a little bit this to uh, squeeze in some landscape on both sides, but we're gonna overdo it with line it, liner, turn it on, just make sure the splash isn't getting somewhere where we don't want it to go. Um, Glenn stands everybody is on site. He's working on getting bulkhead fittings in our stack slate urns. And the homeowner was stoked on the design that we pitched originally with two large on either side and the medium urn in the middle. So that's awesome. We'll be able to get these things turned on today for sure. Gravel will go in tomorrow. Uh, they went with a Mexican beach pebble, which is a first for us on the stack slate urn projects. It's gonna be a great mesh of just grays and smooth rock against the kind of the rugged stack slate look. 
behind us over here, we have Danny running a couple guys and the cat. They're working on cutting out all the bed lines. Yesterday we ran into mechanical problems with our sod cutter, so that set us back quite a bit. Uh, objectives for today would be get the large trees in after the saw is gone, and then we are gonna just lay out our plants. We're not gonna dig them in yet. That just allows the homeowners to really uh, get a feel for what we're about to do before it's solidified. We have a lot of guys out here today. We're staging, we're pre-staging mulch, so it's already out here. We don't have to worry about that. We have lighting installed, a little bit more uh, wire to bury out here. Uh, and as you can see, there's just some sod damage just from the machine coming in and out of here. We'll be cutting all that out, raking it, and just getting it 100% for me to come back with new sod and lay it. The water feature is about 95% complete. We have. Uh, three sleeves coming in here. One for our pump cord. We have one for our uh, iron gen system that we're installing here for algae control and one irrigation pipe that actually runs to an autofill that's installed this basin. So irrigation will be able to hook up to this out here. Um, electricians did their job nicely mounting us uh, four outlets here. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in real quick. We have one watt lights on the back side, which is right here. So when the homeowners are either enjoying it from their sofas or even out here grilling at night, they're gonna have that nice lit urn look, which is exactly what we were looking for. Um, we centered up this middle pot and our design concept was to have the lower one in the middle because we have that nice specimen sylvestris right behind it giving it that height and I think it turned out great. I'm gonna walk you guys around and show you everything. The last time you guys have seen the project is Michael kind of semi turned these on. So here's the complete project. This is my favorite, everybody knows I'm the water feature guy. This right here has been a great addition for these homeowners. So directly back behind here, like I said in the beginning, they've got those sliding glass doors. They've got the traffic on this side and their usable outdoor space. This sound creates kind of that, that, that um, barrier of sound to knock out all that noise pollution for them so they can enjoy their outdoor space and hopefully all they fixate on now is the sound of water. Uh, they were joking about their family said, you know, they're gonna have to pee every time they come out here. But this right here, really cool concept. This turned out really, really nice. So we still have some really cool additions the homeowner wants to do with the, the ends. The, the water feature ended up being a little bigger than we needed it to be. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some container gardening here with some pottery, some really cool ones. I'm gonna do some teal colors. I'm not even sure what I'm gonna add in there. It's gonna be more than just teal, but some teal colored pots um, landscaped on each end. What they had was a very tight cramped space that they couldn't put a proper dining table. They're big on entertaining their family. They got lots of family. So Pratt guys took this screen enclosure and extended to this extra six to seven feet, also extended the pavers and made this outdoor space of hardscape and allowed us to do the water feature on the inside. So this extension and the, they did a really cool tongue and groove cedar um, Pratt guys did up in there, so they now have a covered, half this screen enclosure was not covered before, now it's covered so when they come out to do cooking, which was an existing um, kitchen, they now can actually come out and cook and not get soaked while they're doing it. Because anybody that does party planning for um, Thanksgiving or whatever, you guys know 
it always rains on the days you don't need it to rain. Um, so now they can actually cook and keep on, on task. So they're gonna have this really cool space. They don't need it for privacy because they actually like all their neighbors out here, but they just don't want to have to see these roof lines. So we got these awesome bottle brush trees, which are hummingbird tractors, by the way. You can kind of see the red bottle brushes on here. This is the last time they're gonna bloom because we're going into our winter season. Um, but we've got the bottle brushes in. So these are gonna create kind of a little bit of a buffer so their eye doesn't get distracted. I'm big on not letting your eye get distracted by things. Um, in the background so that your, yard, your, your eye stays on the yard and the beauty of the yard. So this is kind of one part. This is our bald cypress. This was already existing from the builder when they did it. We took it kind of where it was in its random spot and put it in a nice corner. This spot here gets pretty wet. Bald cypresses do not mind being wet. So it's a great spot for it to go and it kind of fills a void. So as this thing grows during the spring, summer and fall, it will kind of block out some more sound. Some of my favorites, the firebush. So these guys right here, another Really cool hummingbird tractor. You'll see the nice little orange tubular guys on here. They're a native to Florida, so they're a great plant to add in. Um, the homeowners gave a testimonial about um, they wanted to do as much native as possible or Florida friendly. And that's what you're gonna see through this entire landscape. The live oaks, we chose to go with three live oaks. The re main reason we did that is we wanted to fill in behind our live oaks. So one day this is just gonna be one huge tree canopy, which is gonna be really nice. And that's why I did these, because if I put something else here, it's going to grow and compete against each other and then it will look like a hodgepodge. Now it looks like it's all planned. Even though they're smaller, they're going to grow in. And of course the specimen. This is like their favorite, um, the specimen Sylvestris, which is centered perfectly on the screen enclosure, centered perfectly on the patio. So when they look out, this is kind of like the art piece at the end. So that turned out beautiful. It's bigger than I even intended on, but it, it's, it fits the space perfectly. And then lastly, in the far corner, we've got the river birch. So the river birch, is another transplant. So I think the river birch, if I remember correctly, it was somewhere in this realm. So what we did is we filled the corner to kind of hopefully fill the gap between those two existing oak trees behind us so that when that grows in, it's gonna fill in nicely. The river birch is one of my favorites because when they go naked in the wintertime, the bark, the birch has this peeling bark that's on it. And when you light that up, when it's an older tree, it just looks beautiful as can be. Um, the way it lights, it looks kind of like, kind of eerie looking. But in the winter time, it looks, I think, even cooler because it's naked. So the light travels all the way up the tree. When there's full of leaves, the light gets lost sometimes. It lights up the trunk and some of the tree, but not the whole way. These guys here are gonna help buffer that roof line back there, which is gonna be really, really helpful. Pratt guys added some uh, drainage systems. So there's some drains from the gutters. We got it away from the house. So now all the water's moved away, irrigation's reset, lighting's in. They've got pretty much the complete package of what Earthworks does. What prompted all this, I think, was our desire to have more outdoor living space, living in Florida, being out here and entertaining. So I would say we went out to Earthworks just to kind of take a peek at things and had no intention of putting any type of water feature together. But there was this nice gentleman named Josh who whipped out his phone and said, oh, what about something like this, right? So this is all Josh's fault that we have, <laughs> they have a water this feature wonderful now. water feature that added more than we thought we wanted to do, but we're so glad we did. Um, it gives us uh, just kind of that intimacy. Of course, the sound helps a little bit with the road noise, and it's a focal point, besides the beautiful trees, um, of why we like being out here and what we're looking forward to. So it's all Josh's fault. But it just so happened that Josh had a similar backyard I mean, not as big, but yep. he's like, this is something cool I did. What do you guys think? And we were like, all right, stand yeah. us There's up. Water and fire. Wa water and fire, yeah. With Pratt guys, I would say these guys work extremely well together. And um, we're texters and obviously oh, yeah. over communicators. Um, but I thought it was great that we could see Mark from Pratt guys come out here, kind of tell us what to expect next and what part they were handling versus what Earthworks would be following up on. Yep. So I never felt like there was this complete like dead zone where they're like, I don't know, ask them. I don't know, ask them. So, yeah. um, but Mark hung 107 light bulbs in here, counted every one of them. And uh, we had we had some good laughs with them too. They were really great guys to work with. So thumbs up to Pratt and Earthworks together. Thank yeah, you. it's all about fun. We just have fun. Yeah, well, you, you like what you do. Yep like what you do and it shows. We know nothing about growing plants, trees, and so forth. So it was great to have Jason and his team give us some pointers on what's really gonna stay where we think it's gonna be and blossom and grow. Um, we have some spots we wanted to make sure we covered very we well. We wanted to make sure we had 
uh, things that are primarily uh, Florida native or at least do well uh, in this climate and yeah. kind of low maintenance. And then from there, basically, how we want to screen uh, fencing and road, road noise and that thing. And uh, so then they were able to just kind of take that information and run with it and give us what we needed here. Yeah, yeah. they've had to put a lot of trust into us because they gave me the vision and then we just went like overboard and put all this stuff in. So yeah. they clearly trust us enough. So <laughs> springtime better come through for these guys. Yes, <laughs> we'll get back to you in March. We'll let you know, but really great follow-up, great care, good communication. Um, because we're in the real estate business, that's really key for us. We wanted one central con connection to make all this happen and they did it um, even better, I think, than we expected. So thank you, we appreciate it. Awesome, thank you. Always. Thanks, sir. <laughs>